Well, what's up guys my name is Alden and in today's video I'm going to tell you how to make uh, the perfect the perfect uh, transparent video from using uh, Krita. Krita's programming itself is pretty meh when it comes to transparency in the videos unless you do like a gif and then other things will arise I'll be talking about how to make those better and how to actually make it so the video itself is transparent and you can just drag and drop it onto any of your editors or the editor that I uh, talk about in this video. And yeah, I will do have a uh, different hair than what the video is going to have. Because that was shot a different day. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so as I was actually uh, doing this video, uh, putting all the final processes and doing like the green screen effect and stuff like that, I ran into an issue which I actually ran into an issue on when I was doing the other animation video uh where the there will be like pixelization and stuff like that outside of the actual image itself of when you're trying to green screen or corn key it let me actually show you exactly what i mean uh so when you actually uh when i have like a video format of it you are going to tend to actually make it into a uh like a green screen type of effect and then you're going to render it out from krita as a mp4 and then you go into the editing program that you have that will actually enable you to get rid of that background but there's an issue with that especially with Krita uh Krita will sometimes well not sometimes Krita won't show like certain pixelization that isn't actually uh that's actually there that isn't going to be on your uh Krita program uh so when you go in and try to actually edit something so let's uh Let's create a new project file so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to drag this over. So the file that you guys just saw. And then I am going to actually open up a drawing that I did during Valentine's uh, that you guys saw. If you haven't, you could check out the video. Link will be in description or it'll be in like one of the side cards over here or something like that. But I digress. So now uh, let us do this so when you go into uh resolve or whatever program you're using to actually edit your videos you'll be able to chroma key certain things out so i'm going to chroma key this i'm going to click this button like here hit the reverse create a node uh alpha output connect that see now it has the uh, purple haze around it so with this purple haze it actually causes some issues it doesn't look as clean you can try to touch it up by like finicking with these things but uh like certain things like that will happen and it won't get to the best outcome so what i've actually found out is instead of doing it this way and having it as an mp4 uh file specifically for resolve i don't know if any other programs can do this like resolve does but Instead of doing the MP4, you actually want to export it as the PNG image files locations. And when you do that, you'll get a bunch of uh, PNGs from uh, Krita. I would still export it as a MP4 just so you can see how long the timing is of like what you want the actual video to be, like the width duration you want the actual video to be. But then you want to go back and then export it as just PNG files. And then when you do that, you can actually just select all the files you want, then drag them over into DaVinci. If you don't have DaVinci, you should get DaVinci. It's free. It's one of the editing softwares that they actually use in like movies like Marvel and stuff like that, Avengers movies like that. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything. You can buy packages if you want, but you don't have to. The software itself is free. But I digress. You're going to drag and drop all the images into here. So what that's going to do is actually going to compress all the images into like a quick little thing real quick. As you can see, there isn't a background. Since the images are a PNG file, you don't need to have the colored background. To double check to make sure you don't need the colored background, you'll click this button down here and it'll bring you up to this page. And in this page, it'll show that it has a checkered pattern, meaning that there is no background. Uh, one thing you want to make sure to do is to actually change the speed duration so to go click speed duration right click click speed duration 
and then you'll get to here change it to the frames you want this will give it about the same amount of frames that you had set in Krita. uh and so the duration time duration and stuff like that will actually change uh, i forgot to do one thing let me undo that so clip speed duration you want to make sure to click stretch to fit or it will actually elongate the actual images it'll just shorten it to the uh time duration but then see now it changed it so now it's the same amount of seconds roughly the same amount of time as previously uh of the other rendered out piece so as you can see there isn't you don't have to deal with any type of uh color background that you have to chroma key out um so now what you want to do is make sure you actually go up to new fusion clip so this will actually make all the individual uh, pictures because even though it looks like a video format file it's still individual pictures that it just made into that little couple second clip now this will make it its standalone clip then you want to go over to uh deliver you want to go to individual clips again why you wanted to make sure that it had the new fusion thing because it would individually make the clips out and then it would go back to that like one second little clip that you saw in the beginning instead of the 10 second thing that i just showed you at the moment so you want to click individual clips you want to click quick time if you don't have took time you could just download and install it and then it'll pop up as one of the formats that you can use you want to go down to uh here and you want to go to uh gopro cineform you want to make sure it's rgb 16. then you want to do export alpha straight uh in the alpha mode and then you want to add to render queue uh actually let me put this in i already have one but let me put this in uh the correct file for the folder that i want to export this out as so let me do that real quick do that name it chibi test i'm gonna just do chibi test uh and then hit render and then or add to render queue then hit render uh you see it's rendering out and stuff like that and then once it's completed you won't actually be able to open up said file you have to bring it into your editing software so like again i recommend having davinci resolve for this because this is very nice and simple uh, we're going to go back to this area this little button over here i'm going to actually mute this one i'm going to drag over the uh file that we just did the chibi test so this one i'm going to drag this over you're going to see it's going to be the exact same length it's going to have an audio file but there isn't going to be actual audio when you try doing these things i noticed that it won't actually turn invisible if you uh have an actual audio file but um now I'm going to just prove that it is invisible. Like you could put it on anything and then it'll be invisible by actually going to a, uh, 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 uh going to one of my, uh, previous drawn videos that I did the, uh, here it is. Let me just open this up. The bound times video that I did previously the recent one i think 2019 or 2020 valentine's video that i did of uh kira which is uh one of my characters from uh, my main series that has yet to make an appearance but as you can see this is actually an invisible clip or transparent clip so and it's a lot more cleaner you don't have to worry about having any of the uh, uh other issues when you're trying to chroma key things out it's a lot simpler um also you don't have to deal with the pixelization or that sometimes occurs when you do uh export it from krita for whatever reason that will happen and again you don't have to worry about like the chroma key stuff like that another good thing when you do the png make sure you go through every single one because like i said previously that uh krita won't show you certain areas on the program itself that actually you went over the lines or like some bleedage from the colors are happening so you want to look at the pngs individual and then make sure you un like know what number you're on 
and then go in and erase the uh, extra bleedage that occurred throughout the image itself. And then you'll have like a much cleaner final product. Hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> like there are so many issues with Krita, but it's a free program. I understand it to an extent, but they just need to optimize things better. But anyways, hopefully this was very, very helpful for you. It's very, it was very, very helpful for me personally, because I was like, this is so fucking annoying. I don't understand why, like it's not being able to uh, chroma key correctly, but doing this instead, making it a move file, uh, it made it so I don't have to chroma key anything and I still get the better product at the end of it. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful.